new tonight. We now know the name of the King County deputy who was shot yesterday while serving a final eviction notice. This happened in Seattle's Ballard neighborhood. Tonight, Detective David Easterly, still recovering at Harborview Medical Center after he was shot in the chest. King 5's Kristen Goodwillie joining us live there with what we've learned today about this, Kristen. That's right. Easter Lee is a detective with the King County Sheriff's Office and has been on the force for more than 20 years, according to them. And as it turns out, assaults like this on deputies and officers is only increasing in Washington state. Nobody wants to see anybody hurt. Nobody wants to see anybody killed. They're reporting uh, shooting incidents. We now know the names of the three King County deputies shot at by a resident while serving an eviction notice in Seattle's Ballard neighborhood Monday. They're detectives Benjamin Wheeler, Benjamin Miller, and David Easterly. We're thinking a whole lot this week about uh, the injured deputy and, and passing along our very best thoughts to that person. David Easterly was hit by a bullet and is at Harborview Medical Center. And it really speaks to just how um, volatile and how dangerous so much of the job can be, but uh, specifically for those uh, carrying out these very important duties. On Steve Strand is executive director for the Washington Association of Sheriffs and Police Chiefs, or WASPIC. He says data shows assaults on law enforcement is increasing. Assaults on officers compared to 2021 uh, have increased 20%. Those assaults increase for those in the category service of civil process, which includes eviction notices. We're actually seeing a 39% increase in assaults on officers in the category that includes serving civil process. The resident has been identified to King 5 as 29-year-old Eustace, who neighbors tell me goes by UC. They died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound during the standoff. This is not an outcome that anyone looks for. How hard would you say the eviction process is? Oh, it's it's exceedingly hard. Sean Flynn is executive director for the Rental Housing Association of Washington and says the eviction process normally takes months to over a year. The eviction process is incredibly lengthy and we have lots of good people working on both sides of that process, right? From in the courts, through the tenant advocates, to the landlord, to the housing provider attorneys, the housing providers, the property managers. After the final notice is posted by deputies, the tenant has three days to leave the apartment. And investigators were out at the apartment until 2 a.m. and found evidence that they say likely all three deputies shot back at UC. Now going back here to Detective Easterly, he is currently here at Harborview Medical Center where we just got an update that he is still in critical condition and in the ICU but is stable. Live here in Seattle, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.